Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Target exclusive 10 inch pork pop from Star Wars The Last Jedi. Man, Target really likes their 10 inch exclusive pops. And I'm okay with that. Here, let's pull this bad boy out. Now before I start yammering on and on about this pop, I want to give you guys a close-up look at the pop itself, just so you guys can get a better look for yourselves at all the details of this pop, you know, as far as the paint and the sculpt and all that. Like the sculpt of like the mouth and nose area here, the uh, paint of the nostrils within the sculpted nostril space, the, the paint within the mouth, the clean eyeball paint, uh, just like the sculpt of its head, and like the feathers of the head and the feathers on the body, especially the wing area, and uh, the feet. Interesting thing with the feet is that they are attached to the base. The base does say Star Wars, which is, you know, fun to have that kind of on there. Uh, and yeah, there's a lot of factory schmutz on there Oh uh, well. But uh, I do like that the base has this little stand on the back which helps support the tail. Like, it doesn't fully connect, but if the weight should ever be displaced, I like that 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 little peg is back there to support the figure if it should become wobbly in the future. And yeah, I'm sure someone in the comments will tell me that I can dip this in water and remove the base from the feet. So not only is this a really big pop, but it's also a cool amalgam. See the regular pork pop came with like orange little feathers painted around the side of its head and around the eyes and a closed mouth. The chase one had brown feathers here and an open mouth. So with this you get the paint scheme of the regular release and the open mouth of the chase release. We had the regular and the chase, and then the flocked one, and the flocked chase, and then we had like the target exclusive with like the big open wings, and now we have this one. That's a lot of porgs, and I didn't get any of the earlier previous porgs. And I like porgs too, but I just looked at those pops and I was like, eh, eh they look cool, but eh. But with this one, when this was announced, I was like, ooh, I want that one. Yeah, because when it comes to cool pops, bigger is better. Actually, when it comes to a few other things in life too. Uh, and with, with it being this big, you can really kind of appreciate the sculpt on it. I really like the surface of its its feathery surface. Uh, the 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 like the way it kind of blends for parts of it, but then as you get further, like the edge of the wings, you see more distinct feather sculpts, like full feather sculpts. It's really really good. The paint scheme on this is great. Between like the whitish to the brownish to the orangish, it follows like the feather lines pretty good. Uh, Eyeball paint is good, these big popified eyeballs, and the details in the mouth, especially in this scale, like the separation of the teeth, the top teeth, the space in the mouth and the tongue, it's all really cleanly painted, it's a good sculpt, I like the feet, the little feet paint for the claws is good. Um, I really like this, I like this a lot more than the regular release, and not just because I'm a sucker for exclusivity, but there's just something about it, like even even with uh, like with the smaller ones, see the fact that, like it's looking up? Like, uh, I, I like my pops facing forward. It's weird, I know, but, like, the fact that it was looking up kind of bugged me. But when you put it a little bit lower, like, if you're standing here, like, as an adult, or, a, you know, a grown-up, at least, pretending to be an adult, and you put this on, like, a waist-level tabletop, it's kind of looking up at you, and that's, like, a fun effect. It's, like, uh, it's looking up at you like you're Chewbacca, and it's like, hey, don't eat that porg. That porg was my mom. You know, so I like that. Uh, I think I think this reads really well. I also like the fact that it just feels like a full-sized porg. Um, I like the Target 10-inch exclusives. I like Thanos. I like Groot. I like big 10 inches, but I think it's appropriate when they feel like they're actually the size of the thing it's supposed to be. So that makes this one extra cool. I like this a lot. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff. Oh, and fun fact, this pork pop is actually taller than the 10-inch Thanos pop.